Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today, I just wanted to talk about collectibles and kind of how silly they are. Um, it's a fun hobby. I really don't think people should spend an exorbitant amount of money on collectibles. Uh, everything is a waste of money unless you enjoy it, except for necessities like food and shelter. So if you do enjoy it and want to spend a bunch of money, I guess that's fine. I think it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, I came across this article talking about stuff that's kind of worthless that were collectibles. You have Beanie Babies, of course. Uh, vinyl records vinyl records have made a comeback, I guess, and the millennials generation, maybe the Zoomers too. Which is really stupid. I mean, I, I don't want to get up, walk across the room, turn over a record, put the needle back down. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so vinyl is not really going to be worth anything because it's stupid. Um, no more Rockwell collector plates. Never even heard of these. Uh, I've heard of normal Rockwell, of course, but I don't know if it's a collector plates thing. So there's that. Uh, so they're kind of worthless. Pez dispensers, which I've known to be worthless. What else we got here? Pandora charms, which I guess maybe if they're silver or kind of a metal, but that, that's even a dumb concept kind of in itself. So here and we have Star Wars, newer Star Wars toys. I guess the vintage ones, of course, can have some collector value. Maybe if they're rare, I guess. I don't know. There's not really too much such thing as rare but we can get into that later I guess vintage band t-shirts I didn't know that was a thing I don't think anyone's collecting vintage band t-shirts royal family memorabilia yeah definitely not a big thing on people are watching my channel <laughs> for collecting that uh, what else we got here new comic books which are very overpriced um uh, which is a shame because I do like comic book art and I used to collect comic books. I don't collect any more, really. I pick some up here and there. I know a couple people that watch the channel have really good channels. Um, Gary B, uh, Slim Comics, definitely check those guys out. But yeah, very good, uh, dedicated, more dedicated uh, comic books um, channels on YouTube. Uh, but I said, at least you can read these. Uh, the collectability is kind of still not really a thing because I mean, you can reproduce anything pretty much it's the same kind of product but maybe you have it signed I guess like if you have a Stan Lee I could see that but newer ones I think they're like what, four or five bucks so yeah if you go to a comic store there's just tons of like dollar comics and even less sometimes stamps um, I know that's been a collectible thing for ages but don't hear about too many stamp collectors. I think that's a maybe a boomer generation. Pogs, which is the 90s kids, I guess. Um, I never see anyone really collecting these things or even talking about. Them. We'll talk about Pogs without like having any or having even left over. I think they just all ended up in the trash. Antique silverware. Uh, I guess if you, I mean, spoons are handy, right? So, <laughs> not gonna collect those. Porcelain dolls, which is just creepy. I mean, this is just. No, 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 no. Model train sets I think are cool. I like model train sets, but I don't see any reason to spend like 1200 bucks on one when you can just get one of Amazon for like, I don't know, 50. And then you can, you know, design it however you want without doing all this. Uh, Barbies, definitely not collectible. Uh, I've seen them in, you know, thrift stores and discount stores. Vintage Playboy magazines, uh, collectible. Uh, I do. I've seen these. I didn't know they were, these were precious moments. I've heard of that. Didn't know they were just little porcelain guys. So figurines. I know that's probably older generation as well. Baseball cards. Uh, I collected. I think one year, 1987 or something like that. Where it was the wood border. So I do like finding the WWE cards. That the uh, they have throwbacks that have those borders that are pretty cool. But yeah, baseball cards even back then. It was such an annoying thing because you would go to a baseball card stop, shop and there'd be some old guy in there, you know, with like big glasses and he'd be kind of disgruntled and you thought you had something, maybe a card that was worth something. And you'd be like, oh, you know, what would you give me for this? And he would like, you know, it'd be like Pawn Stars. He would cut it like 75%. You know, like, so it was totally worthless because he spent, I don't know, how much, how many packs you would buy versus what they're going to give you. So you're probably just going to lose money on the deal. Baseball cards, definitely not worth it. 
Funko Pops. I've made a post on Funko Pops, so we, you know how I feel about these trash collectibles. Uh, I don't even... What is, what is that? Captain Marvel, I guess? Or Robin? Is that Mrs. Incredible? Or Captain Marvel? Who knows? No, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, back here, well, the mystery crap ones. <clears throat> so... You know, they're not collectible because they're so they're so new. I know they have those chase variants or whatever. But I mean, you know, they're just this is a stupid collectible. Period. Uh, Franklin Mint collectibles, which I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> so I guess someone worth some money there. Film cameras. Yeah, nobody wants to deal with that either. No, no, no. Now, VHS and DVD collections, um, me and a couple of friends go back and forth on this. Uh, and I don't know. Uh, I do want some things in physical copy just to make sure I have it. VHS, maybe not so much because <clears throat> the quality is degraded so bad. And, um, you know, some people are like, oh, there's a charm to that or dealing with it. I don't think so. DVD is different. Quality is probably going to be there. Pretty, a pretty like standard bar. It's going to be watchable. Uh, Hamel figurines. Don't know what these are, but uh, yeah, it looks very boring. Morgan dollars. Yeah, uh, odd money. Supposedly coin form. Well, I don't know. There's supposedly a coin shortage. So who knows. So that's kind of dumb. I know Happy Meal toys, you'll see those on eBay from like 1980 or whatever. They're worth nothing. <laughs> but that is like truly how Happy Meal would look, though. Look at the terrible hamburger, fries that are <laughs> got that green thing. There's always some kind of green thing on one fry. Oh, that is. Brown furniture. In case you want to deck out your uh, wood panel room and all brown, you go with that. This looks very, uh, I, I can't even pick a movie. <laughs> so, early 70s, late 60s, maybe. Children's books. Of course, some are being banned, so maybe some might be collectible here soon. Uh, Cabbage Patch Kids, which was crazy in the 80s, which was also very stupid. Uh, very marketing genius, I think. Because it came with like an adoption certificate or whatever, a piece of paper that, you know, now you can definitely just print out an exact replica. Uh, vintage college pennants, nobody cares. Hot Wheels, which I do collect on my channel, and I've been collecting a little bit more. But I already knew they were worthless. Um, you know, they're still like heavily produced or mass produced, but to me they're cool, at least they function. So, autographed uh, sports memorabilia also going down, I guess, in worth. And cookie jars for all those cookie jar uh, connoisseurs. Souvenir bells. Yeah. So, a lot of this is probably going to be on my target <laughs> demographic, I guess, or what I collect, or like what I like to put on my channel. Some salt and pepper <laughs> shakers. Old playbills. Poor Thomas Kincaid. I guess he made too many paintings or whatever. <laughs> so he devalued his own stuff or something. Uh, Hess trucks. I've heard of people collecting those. And they are nice, some of them, but uh, I've seen them in thrift stores. Uh, license plates. That's kind of dumb. Vintage, vintage pins. I don't know, you really have to, have to look close and see how vintage it was. That's really, that's really dumb as well. College clothing, nobody cares. I mean, that's, I guess, if, if you go to a college and want some memories. Wheat pennies. I don't know who would collect costume jewelry, since it's very just cheap by design. Farm tools. So, this is kind of getting away from, like I said, my core interest. 
So another thing about collectibles, I saw this YouTube, um, this live stream. They were talking about collectibles for I think Hot Toys, and they were showing a um, a Falcon for three hundred seventy five dollars. It was like you know a statue, you know, probably not resin, but whatever those you know main statues are made out of. Uh, it looked, I mean, it looked it was a good looking statue, but for Falcon one, no one cares about Falcon. No kid, no kid was like, hey, I'm the Falcon. Nobody ever said that. Nobody's ever going to say that. Because um, he's just a guy with some gadgets with no powers. <laughs> so $375 for a Falcon statue is just ridiculous. Um, pretty much any statue. But that just really was funny to me because they were talking very serious about it. And, you know, what they'll, they'll pay to help the artists out. I mean, that's fine. But it's just over the top and silly to me. I definitely wouldn't pay that for a Falcon <laughs> statue. Uh, if there's a statue you would pay that for, let me know. Uh, I'd be interested. You know, I don't know. Maybe no, I can't. I can't justify almost a uh, <laughs> a PS4 price for a, a statue, especially of a, a lame character. I'm sorry, he's a lame character. He just is. Anyways, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are.